Hi Cancer, this video is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, personally, I'd watch my Moon sign and my Venus. But this is also for you if you're spying on a Cancer. So here we go. In general, for love, what is the overall theme of December? Oh goodness. <laughs> um, so I can't recall what Cancer's love reading was like last month. Um, and last month I did do Cancer singles and couples separately. This month it's together. So this is maybe going to make it a little bit strange because you might be of two parties here. But what I see is that, okay, there are some things here that have got you down, make you hurt, you know? This, um, for a good example, is I know a Cancer and hasn't been in a relationship in a little while and is totally comfortable with that and then finds out that like a family member had cheated on their spouse and was like really really hurt really destroyed by this because felt like you know what you were the last good man that I knew you know like everybody that every man that I know has cheated on their wife except for you and now you do it and now I lose faith in like all men and even though it wasn't my relationship like I'm really hurt and disappointed on a personal level not because you know of your relationship but because this happened and it really destroyed this image that like good men still exist like that kind of a thing so this could be related to your past it could be a breakup it could be um you know, pain within a relationship that you're in. And it, it's like, it doesn't kill you, so it should make you stronger kind of thing, but you're not to the stronger part yet. And they're like, you know what, that just takes patience. It really is just gonna take some time. So if you're hurting right now, it will get better. It sucks to hear that, because you're like, yeah, bullshit, you don't know my life. But for real, it's gonna get better. Because you're gonna shift your perspective, but it does take time in December. Um, how do I know it's gonna change? Well, because this is like actually a really important card. Um, it's a major arcana, it's heads all lit up and illuminated. But to piggyback on that, we have the death card, which is like, okay, you know what, closing the door on one chapter, walking through a new. So basically, to this pain, you're like, you know what, fuck that shit. I'm not gonna focus on it. I'm moving on to bigger, brighter, better pastures. So good. Um, you might not be feeling necessarily entirely yourself this month, or you might feel disconnected from spirit. Maybe this month Cancer will have um, a lot less views for the love reading because if you're not connected to spirit, you're not seeking out tarot readings, that kind of a thing. But what it's saying is um, that all of a sudden, you know, towards the end of December, things that you couldn't quite see clearly might come into focus and they might start to just like click and automatically make sense. Now this makes sense because of the Mercury retrograde that um, you know, you'll just feel better and lighter when that's over. They're saying, you know, this might not be the month that you fall madly in love with somebody like head over heels the second that you meet them. You know, it's not love at first sight, but you know, all of this energy that you're personally working through, especially related to pain or the way that you used to think, it's coming to a close. It is ending. You have this card that's about ending and changing for better, as do you have this one and this one. This one's more about reminding you that it is going to take a little bit of time, but these are all major, huge cards. So it's like some way that you've been thinking or feeling, but I would say more thinking is more of a mindset about the trajectory of your love life is going, that's going to shift. Um, but you probably won't feel it if you're like right away, if you're watching this in the beginning of December, everybody's going to be a bit on a different timeline. Certain energies hit people at different times, but for the majority of you, um, it's going to come closer to the end, but um, it's coming. It really is. So that's really great news. So what are the things that are working for you, Cancer, in the month of December? And they gave me like half the deck here. <laughs> um, all right. So here we go. They're like, once that mindset shifts, once you've applied your patience and you've been like thoughtful and changed your mindset a little bit, you heal. And those swords come out of you fast. You see how this person, like when it's upside down, it's like because the swords are falling out one by one by one. You're gradually going to start feeling better. Um, they're like, it is going to require a little bit of introspection to do that, but that's totally your niche anyway. That's what cancers do. You're kind of private. And they're like, so you will have a few emotional moments where you're like, <sighs> but... 
like you're getting super clear and you're doing a lot of healing. Now, it's probably not going to put you on this trajectory where like by the end of December, you're like, you know what? I'm healed. I'm going to get out there. I'm going to meet my soulmate. They're like, you might not quite be there. By the time that we get to the end, you might not have your enthusiasm back, but you're less suspicious or like concerned that you're going to meet the wrong people or that the wrong people are going to come into your life. Or like I said, like if you have this fear that somebody's like, that you're um, going to end up with somebody who cheats on you. It's like, you know what? Your mind shift might, your mindset might shift and you might not be in that place of like suspicion, like just waiting for somebody to hurt you anymore. So that's really good and really healing. They're like, you know what? You're going on from like this place of like turbulent emotion um, to this place of calmness. Like you're actually like abandoning the, these emotions that you used to have, whether you were even cognizant of them in the first place or whether they were stuffed. It's like, boom, they're forced to light. You work through them and now things are going to be better for you. So good. Good. Um, so I'm saying like this might not be an easy month. It might be kind of hard for you emotionally and you might kind of withdraw and keep to yourself, but it's um, so, so necessary. And to be honest, I think it's really awesome that it's happening in December because then you're going to be just in the right place to start uh, January 2018 in a better place and in a better spot to break old patterns and things like that. So what are the challenges that you will be facing? And they're like, well, part of you is going to be like, why am I just sitting here? Why am I not like getting to work on my love life? Um, they're like, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> because you're not entirely in this like hopeful mindset that the right person's going to show up. In fact, like I said, something might be making you feel hopeless, whether it's just the Mercury retrograde, where whether it's somebody's experience close to you that has nothing to do with you or what, maybe it does have something to do with you, you know, but you're like, they're like, at oh, the beginning of December. Mm. So, um, anyway, they say that work or day-to-day -day routine, like your work-life balance, um, that kind of thing, or like money, like things, or spending money, like to start your business, or things like that, are maybe going to be um, sort of stressing you out and challenging you in regards to your love life. Like you might not have time for that right now, you know, and even though you want to make time for it, December might just be like kind of hard. Um, I have to be honest with you, like I wish I could come and tell you, you know what, December's amazing. You're going to meet your soulmate and you're going to like instant get married and it won't be a bad decision and like you're going to live in all this abundance and love happily ever after forever um, and you'll have like a bunch of really cool pets and children and they'll all be successful and respectful. But if I did that, I'd be lying and then if I'm lying, there's no point in doing a tarot reading. So. Um, oh, these guys just jumped out. They're like, look, your, sp your stability is coming for you. It is. Like, things are going to be happy and stable and content. But they're like, right now, though, you maybe don't even have, like, the right um, support system to get you there. And so you're going to find it. But, like, right now, you just don't. And so, I mean, that could, you could take that a hundred different ways because, you know, there's going to be more than a hundred of you that watch this where it could be like, well, I haven't met the right friend yet who will introduce me to my forever person, or, um, I am not making enough money yet where I feel like I can take some time off from work, not work 80 hours a week and like spend, you know, 20 hours a week dating it. You could take that however you want, but they're like, you know, this is, this is what's happening here right now. Um, so that's kind of like fate and destiny. It's like the divine timing is just not right for you probably in the month of December. Um, what is the best way that you'll get out of these challenges? And they say pouring your love into everything that you do. Really feeling and experiencing those emotions. So if they're negative emotions, right, then as soon as you feel like hurt or sad by something, really pour love into um, the fact that you can feel it all. Some people experience apathy, right? And like for me as a Scorpio moon where my um, emotions can be like very high or very low, like almost like kind of, you know, bipolar in my love life, it's like, okay, well, I'm, I'm thankful though that I can feel at extremes because I would hate, like I hate it when I'm in a situation where it's like total apathy. And in fact, if I feel apathy, then I start to resent the person and then I start to like kind of hate them. 
<laughs> so they're like, you know, focus on the emotional good parts, you know, on the fact that like if you're upset about something and you have like a little cry fest, focus on how good it feels to have released all of that because you are releasing a lot of swords <laughs> this month. Um, they're like, because once that happens, it's like, boom, things shift and change overnight. It might not be in December, but when the divine timing works out and somebody pops into your life, it's like, boom, I know and I feel good and I've cleared all my emotional fucking baggage. So now I can be in a healthy relationship with the right person. So they're like, you know, once you kind of like express these emotions, it helps you to get really, really clear on what's important to you. What do you want in a partner? And, um, really hone in on that focus they're like and then after that you'll be in this relationship that other people are jealous of like they look at it and they go wow I want a relationship like that exactly like that like I wish my relationship was more like this cancer person and and their boyfriend girlfriend husband wife you know whatever partner so I mean things are going to move forward in a positive direction might not be December but um Definitely don't resist feeling your feelings to the fullest capacity because that's the thing that's going to inhibit you this month from moving forward into the new year um, towards great deep love. All right. Love and light.